Today we're going to have a look at your Onector app. So in our other video we've just seen how to connect to the Onector app um, using the Wi-Fi. Once you're connected, you've got the app, then you will have this home screen and you will have control over climate control, heating and your hot water tank. Now if you go into climate control, you can turn the heating on and off with the top um, on and off button. We can adjust the heating if we want to turn it up and down on our little dial and we just spin it around with our finger like so. If we want schedules, we can go into schedules, we can manage our schedules and we can set whatever we want to go in here. Um, this unit comes up with an AH00 error because we're in the training center, we've got units set up for fault finding so we'll ignore that. Um, we can go into um, each day if we want to and see where our um, schedule has been set. Um, we can add a schedule and we can tell it what temperature we want to and at what times we want that temperature to come on at. So we can set our schedules on there. We can do that by um, either choosing each day or we can choose the whole week if we wanted to. So we can do multiple days, um, just today, and um, today's a Wednesday, um, and so we can change whatever we want. So we can put our schedules in there for our heating coming on and off. In the settings at the bottom, there is um, lots of little bits of information. We can change the icon we have for our heating, etc. Call it what we want. So instead of climate control, we could change that uh, to heating like so, press done, and now this is called heating. Come out of there, and one handy little thing we've got on this is it does firmware updates as well, so we can actually update the firmware um, on the uh, interface, which is, which is a brilliant little feature. So we've got heating, come out of there, we've got hot water as well, so I can turn my hot water on and off, I can put it into powerful mode if I want to heat it up really quickly. And again, settings, I can call it different things, and bits and pieces. This one keeps telling me that it needs to do an update. So I'll come out of here. We'll go to the things. There's our little errors that we've got for our, uh, so our firmware update for our heating. We can just say yes, and it can take approximately 30 minutes to do that. So we've got the update for that. And I think there was another update for the hot water as well. So we could update both of them. Oh dear, this one doesn't want to do it because I'm doing the other one at the same time. Once one is done, you can do the other one. So you can now control your heating and hot water from anywhere in the world. So anywhere you are in the world, you can now adjust your heating and hot water. You can put your schedules in the bottom. Energy, we can see how many kilowatts of energy we've used uh, for heating and hot water. If we click in there, it gives us more accurate data. This one obviously hasn't been running, so absolutely none, which is uh, really efficient. Um, so we can then look at how much energy we've used over the week, over the year. From there, we can go to service at the bottom. This takes us to um, a registration. We can register our unit for servicing from Daikin. If we go to more, we can then change our profiles and settings and bits and pieces for, from this area. Um, but from the home is where we then control our heating and hot water, which is going to be the main screen you'll be looking at. Still got an error. Um, up and down with the heating, on and off with the button at the top. Back, hot water tank. I can then um, adjust my schedules and bits and pieces on there. Powerful mode. Um, and uh, yeah, quite a nice. Nice, simple, easy to use app once you uh, get into it. Thanks for watching.